The deep sea is actually full of light, but the light is not sunlight coming down from the surface. It's light that is produced by a wide variety of animals that live there. I'm Steve Haddock, and I'm a senior scientist at Imbari. I study bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is the term that we use for living light. Bio meaning life, and luminescence meaning light. You're probably familiar with bioluminescence through the example of a firefly. In the ocean, many, many organisms are able to produce bioluminescence. The organisms living in the deep sea are living in a largely dark environment, but they need some ways to communicate with each other. And the most efficient and effective way to do that in the ocean is actually to use light. At Imbari, we're trying to take the latest in technological developments and use it to answer centuries-old questions about how and why organisms bioluminesce. Scientists and engineers have teamed up to mount a low-light camera on a remotely operated vehicle, and this allows us to film bioluminescent light in its natural environment. Every time we go to sea, I get excited about the possibilities of what we're going to see with our low-light camera. One example of an organism that uses bioluminescence to find food is the anglerfish. It uses the light from the lure to attract prey to it. And the anglerfish can use this to attract prey, just like moths would come to a light bulb. We're starting to find that some squid are thought to use glowing tentacles that they dangle down to attract prey. And we even found a siphonophore, which is these long jellyfish-like creatures that uses bioluminescent lures to attract fish in the deep sea. The red crown jelly creates this pinwheel of light as part of its display. And that initial bioluminescence is thought to serve as a burglar alarm. The way that works is if a predator, like say a shrimp, comes along and is starting to nibble on that jelly, it will start its pinwheel of light, and that might attract another predator like a fish or a squid that wants to eat that shrimp. A burglar alarm is one of the best examples of how bioluminescence can be used as a defensive tool for an organism. Other organisms use bioluminescence as a smoke screen to distract their predator while they escape. Your predator's confused and its attention is drawn to this cloud of sparkles while you are jetting away. In the deep ocean, most organisms that are bioluminescent produce blue or blue-green light, and we think this is because that light travels best through water. But there is one spectacular exception to that, which is the gossamer worm. And this worm swims through the water with these undulating paddles, and when it's disturbed, it produces a golden sparkle that just looks like pixie dust floating through the water. We don't know why it produces yellow light, instead of the blue-green light that almost all other bioluminescent organisms produce. It's surprising after literally centuries of studying these organisms that there's still some very fundamental questions which we have yet to answer. And I'm hoping that as we see more organisms in their natural environment, it will help us unlock the mysteries of how they communicate and how they use this light to survive.